Hell Creek is perhaps the most famous rock formation, and it's easy to see why. At the boundary between the Mesozoic and the Cenozoic, it represents life immediately preceding the KT extinction. It also showcases the dinosaurs at the height of their dominion, with famous species such as Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus calling it home. It is early spring, 66 million years ago, and for most dinosaurs, it is mating season, just like in modern birds. Massive herds of Triceratops and Edmontosaurus roam the floodplains, searching and competing for mates. The mature male Triceratops take on a darker color and begin to size up the females of the herd. This young male approaches the matriarch. She must first test his strength. After a short but intense scuffle, the young male leaves in shame. Edmontosaurus mate for years. Here, a male follows his mate around, keeping an eye on her as she rests. She is gravid and very weak. However, while in the safety of the herd and the daylight, she has little to fear. Even this mating pair of Dakota Raptor pass freely through. They have been protecting their nest for weeks and their young have finally hatched. They have returned to size up their prey and are desperate to bring food back to their hatchlings. Tyrannosaurus live in large family groups with a variety of children from different parents taking up different roles in their massive nests. This Tyrannosaurus is the only one that remains after a particularly harsh storm years ago. She is old and this year is likely one of her last chances to rebuild the nest. In a nearby forest, a quite odd assortment of dinosaurs gathers around a watering hole. This Ankylosaurus has lived here for years despite proximity to the Tyrannosaurus nest. Now many other dinosaurs gather around her for protection when visiting the watering hole. Denbosaurus, Onithomimus, Pachycephalosaurus, Struthiomimus, and even an Edmontosaurus can be found here. The Ankylosaurus, it seems, doesn't like the company. Once thought to be separate species, Stygimoloch and Draco Rex have been found to be younger Pachycephalosaurus. Here, a family of Pachycephalosaurus can be found with a mating pair, as well as their son and daughter. The mother keeps a watchful eye on her children. Male Dendrosaurus, such as this one, take on a bright red tone during the mating season as they consume the pigments from the blossoming red flowers that had just evolved during the Cretaceous. Also visiting the watering hole is a migrating group of Alamosaurus, searching for new lands. Being fully grown, they don't fear even an adult Tyrannosaurus. One of the few times they are vulnerable is while they sleep, so they make sure to travel to the forest before sundown for protection. Once the sun sets, a variety of predators begin their hunt. The nimble Thessalosaurus slip into the woods as the Dakota Raptors start their hunt. Much of their hunts are simply waiting for an opportunity to present itself. They are excited as they finally locate their target. The gravid Edmontosaurus doesn't last very long. The two Dakota Raptor take turns defending their kill and bringing food home to the hatchlings. The male Edmontosaurus begins to search for his mate and finds her scent. The Dakota Raptor attack him in order to defend their kill. The scuffle is brief and the male retreats as soon as the opportunity arises in order to resume his search. Nature is often brutal. The Tyrannosaurus stalks through the woods. She is hungry, but her rumbling calls betray her true intentions. While they ruin any chance of hunting, the calls are necessary in order to find a male. She is losing strength, and it will be a matter of days until she is no longer able to search for males. 
By the time she recovers, her last mating season may be over. Pectinodon take this as an opportunity to travel into the Tyrannosaurus's nesting grounds. They are too agile for this old Tyrannosaurus to attack, intelligent and patient. They will wait for their time. Not every dinosaur must hide during the night. This traveling pair of young male Taurosaurus search freely for females with little fear of predation. With a lack of Tyrannosaurus in the area, they are in little danger. Thessalosaurus, Struthiomimus, and Ornithomimus herd together. Those that are awake alert the others of incoming danger, and they sleep lightly and run fast. They are well adapted to survive Cretaceous nights. As the Tyrannosaurus gets what little rest she can, the Pectinodon continue to encroach. As the morning comes, the Tyrannosaurus chases off the Pectinodon, but they will return. The Pachycephalosaurus flee from her through the thick foliage as she continues her search, but she has other things on her mind. Repeated calls fail to draw any attention. Scattered from the rest of his family, this young Pachycephalosaurus has wandered far from his home. Little does he know that he has just traveled into the belly of the beast. With the Rex approaching, the little Pachycephalosaurus frantically fights off an attacking Pectinodon. He defeats his opponent just in time. The Tyrannosaurus is glad for the extra food. Later that day, a Tyrannosaurus emerges from the woods. It is a younger male. He had managed to locate the nest from the scent of the Pectinodon, and finally responded to the female's broadcast. The female Tyrannosaurus rushes home, only to find that the male had already left. She lies down, defeated, until the male emerges once more. The Pectinodon rush off, fearful of the more agile younger Tyrannosaurus. They test each other. Love between giants is quite violent. They are together briefly for only a day before the male returns to his home. The mating season is ending, and the weather is starting to change. Weeks later, the Tyrannosaurus nest is astir. The Pectinodon have returned. Constructing and defending this nest is a full-time job for this Tyrannosaurus. Worse yet, the winds of a storm have started to blow. Long have the Pectinodon waited for the Tyrannosaurus to lay her eggs, and they don't intend on wasting their opportunity. Hordes of them converge on the nest. Luckily, the Tyrannosaurus's eggs are well hidden, and she manages to scare the Pectinodon off before they're found. That night, the Tyrannosaurus senses the storm incoming. She must take shelter, but her nest will be left exposed. As the rain begins to fall, most dinosaurs instinctively search for higher ground. Even the gigantic Alamosaurus are at mercy to the rain. The Hell Creek floodplain has certainly proved its name. At the end of the storm, the Tyrannosaurus sleeps, 
dead tired. She has eaten little in the past months, and her exertion has finally gotten to her. Her ancestral home has been destroyed by flood once more. Luckily, her nest is above the water. But in a twist of fate, it's empty. The resourceful Pectinodon had long awaited the rain as their opportunity to attack the nest. Their feathered bodies could handle the weather much better, allowing them to take the eggs while the Tyrannosaurus was taking shelter. These bird-like, intelligent, and opportunistic little hunters triumphed over the gigantic Tyrannosaurus. It's little wonder why it was their cousins that survived the KT extinction as birds. Despite the extreme weather, life found a way. But this disaster would be nothing compared to the one approaching through the cosmos.